on the wiggle turnaround. The wiggle is a three count hip rail pinwheel where you are doing, if it's an underhand to opposite, you do two behind going top, bottom, and then one in front, top, bottom, front, and then it's in split time. This is the underhand to opposite wiggle. When you turn, you go into the overhand opposite wiggle, which is bottom, top, front, bottom, top, front, with both hands again in split time. If you were to look at how to begin the turning, assuming you know both of those, and I would recommend knowing them, you can think about it as if you're doing, so when you did the chasing the sun turns, you were an overhand, you do the low part, you step, you do the high part. You step, you do the low part, you step, you do the high part, right? If we were doing this in opposite direction, one of them is overhand, one of them is underhand. One goes up while one goes down, you turn, you step. One goes up while one goes down, you turn, you step. One goes up while one goes down, you turn, you step. One goes up while one goes down. Okay, so level one is the wiggle in overhand opposite and underhand opposite. Level two is doing that turn. Then doing that turn, you know, in the static, and then lazy turning it. All, I'm, all you do is just lazy playing the sucker, and then you got it. And I would also recommend, you'll notice, or maybe you didn't, that I switched directions to prevent from getting dizzy. But you could also, like from a performance context, if, I, if I'm in a U here and there's someone here, right, I could be like, I'm doing it for them, I'm doing it for them, and then whoop, going back the other way, and I'm doing it for this guy over here, you know? That kind of thing. And you can at any point in time stop into your wiggle if you wanted, which by the way, would be a really nice transition into this sucker. It's also high ROI. I, I will say emphatically, consistently over the years, if there were one thing that I can rely on to get an audience response in a flat stage environment, not on an elevated stage, it would be that move. In, in, with the lazy turning, specifically. I don't think there's ever been a time where I was like, oh man, I don't really have the crowd right now. I'm gonna go for it. And then I'd like do it and people like, oh, I don't know what it is. And especially works if you do it really fast. I think there's something particularly magical about that one when you're turning fast, it, especially with the lazy turning. And the point is kind of a little wild around your body because it's not, it's like the angles are, they're, they're wonky because you're doing the plane bending as you're doing the turning. I think it's maybe because one of them is constantly looking like it's going towards your face. 